Saturday night, I was out gigging, but by the time I got home, came back to just so many messages. And you'd all been watching the new uh, Conor McGregor and Jake Gyllenhaal film, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Um, so what were your thoughts on the film? I don't know if he got long enough to like go over this. Honestly, part. right? Like <laughs> the introduction of Conor McGregor, spoiler alert, it, it's the worst film ever. But the introduction of Conor McGregor's character is mental. He, he's, he's been on job with some bloke's wife, jumps out of a window, stark or naked, and like, <laughs> he does his McGregor walk, but it's like stiffer, like through this town, sets the town on fire, still naked, nicks under his jacket, and that's the character introduced. Mental. <laughs> I, it, that was mental. Every single line in that film is had, had to redub it. <laughs> yeah. So there's no way, like, if you listen to, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it doesn't sound right. Mouth. So, like, he's, he's clearly not been able to get his lines out on set. So he's had to redub. <laughs> he's been doing some lines. Yeah, he's, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's had to redub every single line, which is mental. And then, like, he can't even walk normally. So, like, if you, if you say to somebody, like, right, action, walk, <laughs> just walk into this room. You, he can't walk. He can't walk. Hey, Connor, Connor, act normal. He's like, yeah, no problem, mate. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean. The only bit from that film that I've seen is where he like walks into this like empty place and he goes, where the f*** is everybody? Yeah, that's like, <laughs> that was spot on. I've been sending him memes about that. <laughs> clip, clip that, George, that was perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's. I, w- I want to say like he's playing a caricature of himself, but he's not really. He's just playing himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like a watered down way. You know, the weirdest part about that is, is like he's supposed to be the, not the head bad guy, but basically the head henchman, isn't it? Yeah. They get him in to solve the problem of Jake Gyllenhaal being yeah. this hero because they're gangsters, mobsters, and whatnot. But he's got this kind of like he doesn't actually appear intimidating at any point because he's got this odd kind of grin on his face, yeah. and every line he says is is supposed to be this kind of oddly cheesy like hark back to 80s action movies but because of that it just comes across as clownish rather than intimidating so i'm sure he, I, mean, I know he's not an actor right <laughs> but he could have like walked that line a little a little better you know because it was everything's just kind of like you never see him as a threat do you like at any point i felt and, like watching the trailer you know when he's got he's like got a golf club and he's smashing stuff up and he's like hope you're having a smashing night yeah, yeah. i'm like Ugh, that's a bad line yeah, <laughs> the whole thing's terrible. It's, it's like, well, actually, let's. Should we like in in the interest of uh, being a little bit more balanced? Should we say some of the positive? There are some positive things about that film. First of all, I think the action scenes is pretty good. Yeah, there's some really cool, like obviously CGI, but like the fight scenes, like there's a part at the beginning where he's hitting this guy. I think Jake Gyllenhaal's hitting this guy, and um, who Post Malone? Uh, no, oh, no, Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal's. That's before even yeah, course, Jakey yeah. Boy shows up, yeah, yeah. and he's hitting this guy, and like the the actual effects and the choreography of it are reasonably like believable, which yeah. is not always the case right um and i think like jake Gyllenhaal is good in it man like he, he he's basically if it, if that were anyone <laughs> less uh anyone worse as a in terms of quality as an actor yeah than jake Gyllenhaal, who i'm a big fan of i think it would be <laughs> irredeemable you know what i mean like it would be firmly in that b movie category but he kind of saves it because he, he acts it reasonably well i yeah. think um but they try to tack on this part as well that he's like tormented right because he's accidentally killed something in the ring or something or like yeah. really severely and you never really find out no, no. um but yeah it's, it's not i don't think it's as bad as i thought it was going to be interestingly enough but it is bad it's a bad film i had to watch it over two nights like you were that bad it was past your bedtime right eight o'clock yeah, you're just eight, unreachable after eight it's no turbo the snail it's not i started watching incredibles <laughs> this weekend but that's a story for a different day you've never um, seen it i've never seen incredibles oh until he made me turn it off She's like, I don't want to watch this. I want to watch Paw Patrol. I'm like, you little shit. Anyway, well, I didn't understand that final fight scene where he's fighting McGregor. Mm. So he, he lands on that island with that lady, doesn't he? The one that's like his... Uh, the love interest. The love interest. The kind, the kind of love interest. Yeah. So she's like, they, they land on the island at the same time. He has this massive long fight where he, he gets stabbed and then he eventually stabs McGregor to death. Mm. Then she just appears. <laughs> Not giving away no the film, spoilers. Really. Yeah, but I mean, like, at this point. Then she just appears and she's like, gives him a kiss and that. I'm like, you could have come out 20 minutes ago and like stab McGregor yourself, you know? I don't know, man. If I see Jake Gyllenhaal and McGregor fighting, I'm probably not going to get involved, especially when they're armed. That's the worst part. Like, they, they, like why is McGregor arming himself? I'm like, isn't the whole point that you've got deadly fists? They did have a good like fight sequence, didn't they? But then, then the, I suppose it got to come to an end at some point. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of, I thought maybe, I, I thought what he should have done is because 
you know, you know, McGregor says he's supposed to be an MMA fighter as well, Jake Jill and yeah. It does the whole scene like you mentioned last week in the octagon, which they yeah, filmed yeah. at a real octagon. I thought it was just gonna be a standard like rear naked choke or something. Like he did get into a rear naked yeah, choke. Yeah, but like that, you gotta like why are you finishing it with weapons, man? You both known to be UFC mm. fighters in the film. I wanted to see like an arm bar, some like bones flying out here and there or something. Um or even what that what Danny was talking about, a special move, uh twister, twister or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. But he the, just the, the, stabs the, him the, with the a pole cue. The, the, <laughs> The fight scenes were pretty good. Like I think McGregor ended up in a rear naked choke at one point and he clears like the hooks off around him and escapes it and reverses it. So it was like quite a good fight scene. But the main, like, come on, let's let's talk. Let's get down to the brass taxes here. Them boys are juicy. <laughs> Them boys are the juiciest, juicy boys. They were so well, like, like McGregor's juiced off his head. Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal is obviously juiced off his head, but well, he's so I, ripped. That's right? a little like, mean he, to say he's he, he was so ripped. He made McGregor look fat. And McGregor's did, in yeah. good nick. But he was chiselled in that. Like a whole, ridiculously chiselled. Mm. Oiled up, chiselled. Yeah, but to say juiced off his head is, I think is unfair because he's not like unnaturally large in that, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. He's, he's very, very lean in it. If you could um, put his stack together, what would you say? <laughs> put his stack together? What I do don't we, know what he's Adam, on, what man. do we need to take to look like, look like Jake Gyllenhaal? I get the, he'll be on something like, I would, I'm not really supposed to say stuff like this though. I would imagine he might be on a little bit of clenbuterol, <laughs> perhaps, I don't know. But he's definitely, the thing about Jake Gyllenhaal though is that like, if you see, not that I have like some weird scrapbook of Jake Gyllenhaal in his youth or something, but he's like a naturally lean guy yeah, yeah. throughout like his, the, the early part, formative part of his career. So he'll, it will, he will find it easier to lose. He obviously doesn't hold fat. Like say, for example, you mentioned Post Malone. Yeah. I could tell you looking at Post Malone where he naturally holds fat. He's naturally a skinny, fat type of guy. Yeah. Whereas Jake Gyllenhaal looks naturally athletic. So it would be easy for him, bear in mind, to lose a lot of fat and look good. But I think to me, it always comes back in a film, right? It's always the case that the, the turnaround is so usually so short to get in shape. They would be daft to not be on something. And I would imagine, if, I, you, had to, if you asked me to guess or bet my house on like, are they taking something or not? Yes, I would say he's taking something, <laughs> but I don't know what, what it's on. And I don't think he's he's on, he's not clearly on any kind of anabolic substance, anything that's going to like Games, build loads of right, yeah. tissue because he's just really lean in it. He's in just good nick. So I think he probably just trained and maybe took something to a system. I don't know. <laughs>